Hi Leo, this is a general love reading for mid-July to the end of July 2021 for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And it is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation, but you can check out one of your other signs or even your person sign or one of their signs. Also, the rules can be reversed if the other person's energy shows up or it could be tapping into the energy of your person, okay? I will mostly be focusing on you this time around. I usually um, do your energies as well as um, the other person's energy separately, but this time I'm just doing it a little bit differently. So let's see, what is going on with Leo? Mid-July energies and if you'd like a personal reading to get more specific all that information is in the description box all right okay so we have understanding and we have victim all right so somebody here and it could be you it could be your person somebody is really understanding that they have pretty much kept themselves victim or that they have been taking on the victim type of a role and a lot of times when we do this it's because we are trying to make an excuse for ourselves so it's just easier to convince ourselves that we are a victim in a situation when actually there might be some alternatives and we do have control over what it is that we do so somebody is really having an understanding here about that okay so leo and then it's your birthday month so happy birthday to Leos, if you have a birthday coming up. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I will be looking at past, present, as well as near future energies, and your person's energy may or may not come through here. Okay, so for the recent past, we have the Page of Cups, the Seven of Swords, and the Devil. Ooh, okay. So it feels like... There's either, you were either going against your own feelings in a way that it was because you were... You, you may have had a fear about how you feel about a particular person or you just found yourself being in a situation that was toxic and I feel like you know you have feelings for this you have feelings for this person and just because it's toxic it doesn't mean that it's not meant to be in the end it really depends on the situation okay even healthy situations can have and healthy relationships can have phases of some toxicity. Toxic can be just, you know, that there's a miscommunication and somebody is not communicating in a way that is 100% um, honest and it can keep you trapped in this pattern, okay? And then there are ways out of that if both people are actually willing to resolve that issue, all right? But I feel like there was definitely here when it comes to your emotions, there may have even been a little bit of a denial of your emotions, and this is something that may have actually kept you in a situation. Let's see, for the present, we have the Six of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, and the Queen of Cups. Okay, so you're trying to find some balance. So yeah, so for a lot of you here, it could even be that, you know, you have openly communicated to this person that you actually don't want to stay in the connection if it is going to continue to be in this way where it's not serving to you. Okay, if there is this toxic element to it, maybe it's an addiction, maybe it is just um, some fear, somebody has a fear here. So this could definitely be the other person, okay? It's not necessarily you. So take the messages as they resonate. And I feel like you may have communicated or somebody has communicated that they do not want to stay in a toxic type of a relationship. And I feel like at the moment you're trying to find your, your balance. You're trying to kind of redirect your energy in a way where you feel like you're following your intuition. And that doesn't mean that it is easy. 
I feel like you're trying to balance out how much energy are you giving to this situation? How much are you feeding into a situation that might have a negative aspect to it? Like, or how much are you enabling it? So I feel like that is um, maybe a lesson that you've been learning in July possibly or, or in the past and it's kind of like really coming to the surface right now. How much energy are you giving to this? And I feel it really feels like, you know, you're just feeling this spark of, you know what, you're feeling this drive of really wanting to follow your intuition when it comes to this, even though you might have a lot of emotions for this person. So let's see what is coming up. We have the nine of the nine of swords. the King of Cups, and the Queen of Pentacles. Leo, okay. So I, I do feel like there is some stress coming up. This may this may or may, may not be you. I don't really feel like it is you. Um, I do feel like your person is in this reading quite a bit. I don't see much of your energy here, to be honest. Some of you might be dealing with a Capricorn. Not necessarily. And we also have, um, we have quite a bit of water. All right, so maybe a water sign. And I do love that we have both the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. I feel like this person, this is somebody who does have a lot of love for you as well. And so that love that you feel, the passion that you feel, it is mutual. And I actually do feel like, you know, there's a lot of stress here, but somebody is having a lot of emotions for you. And I feel like you're moving in this direction of things just becoming more grounded, just feeling more stable. So we'll see what that's about. But I definitely see love coming in here with this King of Cups. But it is, it's almost like it's coming together with, a, with some stress. Which could be the other person's stress. It almost feels like this person needs to whoever this is, whether it's you or, or your person here, needs to be stressed a little bit in order to reach this place of being very, um, just more grounded and more nurturing towards their own self or towards the connection. Possibly even healing um, that, that devil, that toxic energy, whatever that is. All right, so let's um, let's clarify that devil, which could even be somebody just keeping themselves stuck in a situation, right? And having taken that victim role, as I said. But I feel like, as I said, I feel like there's a deep understanding about somebody doing that, which could be you. Okay, it could be that you were. Um, it, and it could be very subconscious. It could even be very, very subtle. Like just kind of keeping yourself stuck in a situation um, that's just repeating a pattern over and over again. All right, so clarifying the devil, we have the King of Swords, the Queen of Wands, and the Three of Wands. So it looks like maybe for some of you, yeah, I feel like there was this um, waiting, that you were waiting for somebody to really make a decision and make you first priority or to fully have you to fully have you in their life. So I feel like that could even be what this is about. I do feel like it's a double message that there was something also toxic possibly from the other person, whatever that is, whatever it is that was keeping them from doing this. But for you... It was waiting for them to make a decision to make to put you first. And I feel like what you expressed was, you know what? You're not doing that anymore. So let's let's clarify the six of pentacles. Which is um, for your current situation. We have the Two of Swords and the Ace of Wands showing up again. Wow, okay. So I feel like you, you have this inclination 
to want to give energy to the situation in order to have it reignite, in order to have it come back, in order for it to just start to um, blossom in the way that, that you would want it to. This is what you are now trying to balance out within yourself. You are trying to not give that much energy to it. You are trying to focus your energy on other things rather than trying to just have this ace of wands with this person. Give me one sec. I did drop a card, um, which I don't feel was meant to um, come out. But I will show you what it was. Okay, it was temperance, which is all about, yeah, moderation. Trying to moderate yourself, trying to hold back from being too impulsive when it comes to wanting to just give energy to reigniting this connection, to influence it in some way. And this is because your intuition is telling you to redirect that energy. Because doing the same thing over and over again is just keeping you kind of like with your hands tied. Like that victim. See the Queen of Cups? The moon and the star. Ooh, okay, so wow, Leo, you, you're it, it almost feels like you're taking a risk here by following your intuition because following your intuition is something that um, was a little bit scary to you. It, it almost feels like you know what your intuition has been telling you to do or the signs you've been getting. Okay, because we also have the star. I feel like you've been getting signs. You've been getting that guidance to put a halt to whatever pattern was happening because it was enabling the situation to stay the same. So you were getting those, but there was a lot of hesitation, like, is this really my intuition? Because it just felt so contradictory to your emotions about this. You just felt, you know, like, this is something that I really want. So why am I being guided to stop giving energy to this? But I feel like you're, you're for the most part, you're deciding to follow your intuition. I, I do get that you're still kind of hesitating. So take this as a message then. No, you know, follow your intuition. Follow, follow the signs. Follow the guidance that you've been getting. You know, don't, you don't need to have those hesitations. You don't need to be afraid of whatever your intuition is telling you. It's only going to guide you um, towards your highest good. So let's see the near future. Let me clarify the Nine of Swords. All right, we have the Two of Pentacles. Okay, so somebody is, I feel, I actually feel like this is the other person here. Um, somebody's going to be feeling a lot of anxiety and a lot of stress based on you following your intuition. This is somebody who's going to have to really figure out what it is that they're going to do and make a choice. Make some kind of a choice or really try to find a way to make something work. I feel like for this person it's going to be something um, feeling like, you know, this is so difficult for me to handle. I cannot cope with this. But it's that energy, it's that pain, it's that discomfort that actually can push one to make a change. Let's clarify the King of Cups. All right, we have the Eight of Cups and we have the Emperor. Okay. So there is, again, there is somebody here coming in, I feel. So it could be this person, it could be somebody else, okay, you, you would know. Um, but there is somebody here who is actually emotionally detaching from what I... I've been calling this toxic energy here, the devil. Somebody is actually taking a more difficult path in order to move towards their emotions. Okay, we have the emperor here. So whatever this eight of cups is, it's this person moving towards actually taking control, actually standing up to the plate, actually um, making some kind of a move. And if it was this person who had also been in a victim type of a role, 
or maybe it was just this person for your situation. The emperor is not a victim. The emperor walks away from anything that is victim-like. The emperor is the ruler, ruler of his or her own life and his or her own world, really taking charge and making things happen. Okay, and whatever that is, it's also coming in with compassion, with love, based on emotional stability. Which is interesting because that's coming right after a lot of stress, anxiety, and feeling like, you know, this is a huge challenge. So let's see the Queen of Pentacles. All right, we have judgment. Okay, so this is all about, again, I, I said this for Aries, it's a rebirth. It's a rebirth. It is a decision, a discernment being made, seeing the truth of a situation. And whatever that is, it is bringing you a lot of stability. Maybe some of you are dealing with an Aries because I do see some similarities um, with the Aries reading. All right, we also have Sagittarius, um, Pisces, Aquarius, just calling out what I see. It definitely could be any sign though. Okay, so this is definitely moving you towards a place of feeling more sure about yourself. I feel like whatever it is that you're doing, once you follow your intuition, you are going to feel so much more grounded. You're going to be nurturing yourself. You are going to feel that sense of self-worth. You're going to feel that sense of self-respect for yourself in a way where this whole situation, it's like, it's kind of like there's just this new opportunity that is opening up for you. Okay, and it could definitely be with this person. Things kind of, you know, just kind of starting over here with judgment. All right, Leo. So if this resonated, let's get your final oracle message. All right, and we have the first quarter moon. Your commitment is being tested. Your commitment to your intuition is being tested. How committed are you to truly listening to your intuition and, you know, overcoming the fears and the hesitations that go along with that, right? Following your bliss here at the start, following the guidance that you've been getting from your higher self or from the universe. So I am going to leave it at that. I thank you guys so much for watching and much love.